Everybody out there, what's going on? This is Steve with SW Pressure Washing. So I'm doing this video today because I had a few to reach out and ask me, how do I have my trailer plumbed? How do I have my units plumbed from the customers to my buffer tank to my pump itself? How do y'all do it? And I'm going to explain to you all the most basic way I can. You have videos out here of people showing you this stuff and they try to make it as complicated as possible. That's what I'm here for. I'm going to show y'all how to make y'all set up as seem simple as possible. So here we go. So we're going to start. Now remember, before I get started, this right here is what I use when I'm having them rough days out here washing these buildings. <laughs> this right here calms me down, y'all. It's no nicotine in it. It's just flavored juice, peach, and watermelon. That's it. Very nice taste. So let's start with the customer supply. This right here is a cheap $30 hose wheel, reel. Look at this. It's, look at it. It moves. I just have screws holding it down. This shelf right here I installed is for my hose reels, okay? I got it. See, my stuff is all rigged up, but all this, this mounting stuff, I've done it myself. Uh, this here is the customer supply. You want to get you a at least a 100-foot hose. You can get it from Lowe's. Get your 100 foot hose. You can get you some a cheap little old hose reel like this right here to where it can hold your hose on it. It don't have to be nothing expensive. You don't have to go out here and spend a lot of money on these hose reels. That comes later on in the future. So what I have, this is how I keep it down. Y'all can see it raw. I, that's how I lock it up. I just pr push that down in there and it holds everything together. This right here, ooh, I, can, I need to clean this. This, from this part to this part, it's about, I could say it's probably about five feet long. Both of these are female ends. Female here and a female here. I connected this, this female end that's gonna attach to your water hose. No pressure, this is just a regular water hose, a garden hose. And this right here is what connects to the customer supply. Because all the customer suppliers are male ends. Okay. So I got it on here, wrapped up. Let me see if I can get around this. I got it wrapped up, and I got it coming out through here. Remember, I always get a water filter because not everybody's water is clean. So get a water filter. So I got this screwed on to, the, to my cheap little hose reel from Lowe's, got it screwed on, and then I have this split here. You can also get this from Lowe's, like eight, seven, eight or nine dollars. Let me tell you how this is running. I have one side, which is this side, I have this running down back, and it's coming to here. This is it, and it's going to my pump, plumb directly into my pump. So the reason why I done that is because for this particular pump, it gives me options. If this engine dies on me for whatever reason, I can... This part here is running to is running to that engine. This part here is running to that engine. This part right here is running to that engine. If any of my engine dies, I can turn that water supply off and still continue on at four gallons a minute. Okay? So that's how I have this plumbed up. Now, this right here. It's going to this unit right here, but this the kicker. It's going around, and I have a teed off here. Now I has uh, had a few people ask, "How do you fill up your tank?" 
I don't have a meter and all that stuff. So if I want to fill my tank up, the water goes here, it tees off, goes to, I open this up, and it goes down, and I can fill my tank up. When I, when I don't want to fill my tank up, if the customer has great water supply, I shut this off. It's going to force the water down through here and over to that pressure washer. The reason why I have it teed off here, because this is running up, over, over around to the sides where I show y'all over to the side where my chem tank set, that's where if I need to flush them out, I just need to clean them out. I just turn the water supply on from here. I cut, I cut this unit off, shut that off. I turn this on so the water can flow this, flow this way. I got this off, so it's not going up through here. So it's coming out from the customers and then if I don't need to go to the pressure washer, I shut that off. So it's going to go here. The force of it is going to turn. Then I open this valve up here. When I open that valve up there, it's going to go straight to the other side and put water in my chem tanks just in case I need to flush them out. And I've done it a few times this year already to flush them out, to keep them clean. Uh, when I need to clean my downstream injector out, I do that. So that's how I have it plumbed up. Um, all this other stuff, don't worry about it. None of that is plumbed. Don't worry about it. When I first built my unit, I did some extra stuff, kind of found out, never needed. No use for it. Um, this hose reel here is my pressure hose. This right here is an extra foot of 100 foot pressure hose. As you can see, it's, this is my end and it's not... This is the line here, and as you can see, that was my rag I was looking for. Ain't that about a blimp? As you can see, this here is not connected to anything. No need for it to connect. It's no need because this is extra hose just in case I need it. I just pull it off the hose reel, connect it to my main uh, pressure line. So this how I have my pressure line hooked up. I have this pressure line hooked up to this unit and I also have it hooked up to the unit right there in the front. Let me show y'all how I have it hooked up. I have a Siamese kit and I've showed this before in a previous video. I'm going to show y'all how I, how I have it. Oh my goodness, I know it look all crazy up on these here. So this right here is connected to my main hose reel, the one I just showed you. This right here is where it's teed off. That line right there is running from my pressure side of the pressure washer that's on the front of my trailer. And this line here is running, 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 running. My name do, 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 to the pressure part that's on my trailer. So I have both of those connected with a Siamese kit, with a check valve. There go a check valve there, so you don't have back pressure to your pump. And I have a check valve here, so you don't have back pressure to that pump. Also, I have it connected with a uh, bypass downstream injector bypass you can get these online um, the downstream injector bypass you have to remember in our downstream injector the orifice is very small so you're not going to get full adequate flow from your pressure washer so the bypasses are amazing when it's open like this right here the water bypasses this injector and it just goes around it just loops that's all it does it just loops it comes back in to bypass this injector to still give you adequate full flow, flow. But I have these connected with quick connects just in case I need to replace this. This downstream injector is connected. Oh, here it is. Quart inch line. Do, 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 do. It's connected to 
here it is right here it's running up right here into my remote downstreamer if anybody know anything about the remote downstreamers these right here work amazing so i have it running from here this is coming up from my bypass and this is coming in going over to my chem tanks on the other side simple as that the buffer the only time i use this buffer this water tank the only time i need to fill this up like one of my council auto zones they don't have they don't have the water pressure that i need for eight gallons a minute the Siamese kit I just showed you, I have both units together. I only use that when I'm doing a lot of flat work. I crank up both my units. It allow me to use both units at the same time to pull eight gallons a minute to use my surface cleaner, my 31-inch uh, surface cleaner. But the buffer tank is for if you have your units. Now, before I say this, this unit is not connected to my buffer tank because you see how that pump is that's almost halfway on my buffer tank the only unit that's connected to my buffer is here it is right here this the line okay it's coming out it's coming out right here sorry y'all it's a little tight in my garage it's coming out and I'm going to show you around here and I got it teed off here this right here is when I need to dump my water out I cut this off I shut that off it's going to force the water this way it's going to force the water this way and I have a few options here but I only have one that's open and this right here what goes through to my pump that's on the front of my machine so say for instance the customer don't have enough water uh the proper water flow that i need so what i do is i fill my tank up i fill this tank up at least halfway while i'm at the house prepping my uh truck i carry i carry the water to autozone and what this allows me to do is I close this off, the dump valve off. I open up that line here that's going to feed the water to this pump. Now, here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. What I do is I slightly, I close this off, leave this. This is, remember, this right here is the one that's going to the pressure washer on the front but I'm not getting the, the, the adequate water flow that I need from this customer. So I completely shut this off, open this up, which is going to that pump over there. And when it tees off here, what I do is I slightly open this up, just very slightly. That's going to continue to feed water in here because I already have it halfway. So it's already going to force feed my pump. So I'm continuing to put water in here also, while I'm feeding water, and I open, let's see, I open it up wide, while I'm feeding water to that machine. So, I got much water flow to that machine, and I got the water flow from this machine, which is gravity fed, to the unit that's on the front. Simple as that. So, each unit I have, like this unit right here, these units right here, I would suggest key starts. Have a battery for it. The best way to have your battery, I got it, uh, a strap on it, it's down, your positive cable goes to your solenoid, and uh, ground, I have it grounded out to this frame that I kind of sort of built for this unit here. I bought this unit here, and I bought the uh, pump from Hotsy. Put it together, simple as that. And now you got a four gallon minute unit. And I have these, um, I put these um, um, these buffers. They have, they have a correct name on it, but I call them buffers. That way when the engine shake, check this out. When the engine shake, you see that? You see that? The engine needs that. 
I got them on all four of them. Because when you crank your unit up, it's going to shake. And you need that. Ah, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Of course, I have my ladder on top just in case you never know. Uh, I'm not going to show you my surface cleaners yet. But we was talking about my Kim tanks. This is Kim tank for my SH. As you can see, I keep my SH in here. And this is my soap tank. Remember earlier when I was talking about that water line that was running to flush my tanks out? And out of here, split off. I can open that up while the water is going. It goes around, flush this tank out just in case if I need it. Same thing here. Open up that line, go, boom, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, go into there, flush the tank out, and you know, you clean it out, do what you have to do. I'm overkill with it. Now, remember, I showed you all my downstream injector uh, remote kit. This is the line that's going to it. This is the line. I have it barbed off, teed off here. This is where I can feed, which I have it going right there on the top. I can open it up for my SH. And also, I control. Do, 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 Bing, boom, right there. I can also get the soap that I need. Depend on how much I open, where is it? I, depend on how much I open this up and depend on how much I open it up when I'm downstream. Uh, let's see. Eh, this hose reel here, you know, this is when I do car washes and stuff. You know, every now and then. And I have my little starter unit. You never forget where you, you never forget where you come from. All of y'all with these eight gallons and sixteen and thirty-two gallons. 55 and 98 gallons a minute unit, you never forget where you come from. So he hangs on with daddy. He hangs on with daddy. This how I pump my SH into this, into my tank right here. These are my 55 gallon barrels I have to I get delivered. I'm almost done with that one. My 12 volt. Look at this right here. What they say right here. Bleach pump. Wait, ooh, baby. Can y'all see this? And the specs on it, man, this camera, I thought Apple was supposed to do better with these cameras. It's a five and a half GPM uh, bleach pump. Now you can use these for soft washing. You can definitely use these for soft washing. But I did a video on the S Jet to where that works better for me. So I found the use for this pump now. This pump, what I use when I pump on my tank or put bleach in my tank, I take. Uh, ooh, ooh. Okay, y'all, this is the rest of it. Do apologize. Um, I take my hose here. Keep falling on the ground. But it's okay. It's all right. We're going to be just fine. So y'all seeing this in raw. I really don't care. I take that, open this up, dip it down in there. It goes through my bleach pump. And I take this long end right here. Open up that top lid right there. Drop it off in there. Pop it on. Fills it up. I take my two battery cables here. and connect it to the battery on my trailer. And that's how I use to pump up, I mean, put bleach inside my chem tank. All right. <sighs> let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Next, the surface cleaners that I use. When, I, when I'm using eight gallons, I got my 20 inch whirl away. Got to clean it off a little bit. Y'all know how it gets. And also I have my Mundo, 31 inch Mundo. I got my towels on the ground because I spilled a little something. It doesn't matter. Ain't nobody perfect. I don't care. Got my double mundo, double um, bladed mundo, and I have my whirl away. So that's what I use when I'm pumping eight gallons. My cling on for my roof, I have, uh, I use this right here, Ripper. Uh, it's a new product from Hotsy that I'm trying out for my auto zones for the greaser, so Huh, you know, I'm still uh -huh, on the fence about it. Uh, what I use here is one of my house washes. Uh, that's awesome that I use. 
uh, by Doug Rucker. This a uh, this a uh, surfactant, and uh, it's it's called Kane's Clean surfactant. It's pretty dope. I like it. it smells great. Uh, gas can. Also, my clean saw VC that I use. Uh, I got two more gallons of that. Five gallons of that. This right here. This is my uh, fifty-five gallon. Uh, this gonna be my new bleach tank for my roof pumps that I'm going to put up. This is my soap tank that I have that's going to be part of my bleach pump. Look at what I have here. Y'all see that right there? That's LA Awesome. If y'all want to get rid of oxidation on siding, <laughs> there it is. LA Awesome will do the trick. I also have to treat rust. That that works amazing. Also, I have back up in there. Let me see if I can put it. That roof is by, um, uh, let's see. This cleanse on roof. Also having a gallon jug, half a gallon jug. It works pretty well on holding on roofs and getting roofs clean. So I'm still on the fence about that also too, but it does a pretty decent job. If I want stuff, if I'm using a lot of bleach, I use this. Uh, and or you can use this right here to mask the smell of your bleach so um, that's what's in my arsenal um, the stuff that's here is really pretty much for car wash stuff and sprays and stuff and um, also it's time for another one y'all it's, yeah, it's time for another one um, I had to replace this and I also had to replace that but the best way to go is go stainless steel um, because you're going to have bleach coming through that. And it takes a longer time for stainless steel to corrode other than using brass. So remember what I said, customer's pressure. Customer's pressure. I showed y'all how to plumb it. Pretty simple. If you got any questions for me, put it down in the comments. And y'all, listen, do not forget to hit the, uh, click the like button. Also hit the subscribe button because I'm starting to do videos on how what I do on a daily when it comes to my pressure washing business. Um, my next video is going to be on how to properly uh, clean a, um, a uh, concrete. So y'all going to see me do it from start to finish. All my mess ups, all my errors, what I have to go through from start to finish. So y'all stay tuned for more. Please share this video, like, subscribe, and I promise you all, y'all, I will not let you all down. If I'm doing something wrong or y'all see that I could tweak something a little different, please put it in the comments below. Thank y'all for tuning in.